Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So recently I informed you all that one of my students got an interview opportunity in Microsoft. So in today's video we are going to discuss in detail about the resume. The resume that got the Microsoft job opportunity. So we are going to discuss in detail how to mention the technical skill sets, how to mention projects and in what ways we need to mention the day to day activities as well as roles and responsibilities of the project in detail. So all these things we are going to discuss in detail so make sure to watch it so that when you are creating your own resume you can use the specific keywords as well as the specific formats one more thing team uh, batch 7 of DevSecOps and cloud devops is starting from 2nd of november seats are filling fast so if you are interested in having dedicated training sessions and preparing for devops job interviews make sure to enroll because this course is completely based on real time and hands on talking about the best part about this course so we are going to have so many new things in upcoming batch talking about specific projects that we are going to implement in this course so first we are going to have four multi-tier applications. Those applications will be completely different kind. First application is like Node.js plus MySQL database, Python plus MongoDB database, then Node.NET plus uh, Postgres database. Then we are going to have one Java plus MySQL database. So you can understand very clearly in real time how we are connecting database to our applications and how we are, we are performing the CI CD for build and deployment properly. Okay. After that we are going to have a microservice application so that in properly we can understand how we are connecting different microservice component of an application side by side we are going to build and deploy application on mega project mega project inside mega project we are going to integrate every single thing that we learn in this course and the best part about that uh, deployment is that we are going to implement ingress also and even if you try to find on youtube there is no proper hands-on implementation on ingress where the user has shown like you can implement in ingress plus you can custom uh, uh, map custom domain using ingress and you can integrate uh, you can create ssl certificates for your deployed application so all this process i'm going to show you in this course upcoming course coming to next project so we are going to have service mesh implementation using istio then we are going to have kubernetes monitoring project where we are going to monitor our kubernetes worker node plus we are going to monitor an application that is deployed within kubernetes cluster in addition to these there will be so many other mini projects also that will help you understand in real time plus what kind of tasks we use in companies so all these projects will be really helpful for you plus the best part about this course is that after the course has completed i'll be connecting to each one of you one to one helping you to prepare your resume plus for those who are going to transition to devops role i'm going to help you understand projects and what kind of projects could be added in your resume how to explain those projects and other things as well so make sure to check it out uh, the link in the description so that you can enroll now with that being said let's get started so team now let us see the resume that uh, got us the interview opportunity in microsoft okay before that i'll show you one screenshot also this is the mail screenshot uh, which uh, my student received for interview it was actually for today itself okay and i'll definitely let you know what was the results okay so here you can clearly see uh, this mail has been received from my, at the rate microsoft.com and here we have the details like whatever like interview has been scheduled and so on so okay now other than this one more thing that i wanted to show you is the actual jd that i have okay from microsoft i'll share this as well to you uh, in telegram you can just check it out okay mostly it was uh, towards the azure devops profile and most of the things that were uh, like mentioned in the jd were from the azure devops itself okay now let's jump to the resume okay so in detail uh, i'll tell you the the student is actually five years of exp having five years of experience and even though on five years experience you can see the resume is going to be just two pages okay so let us go through the main uh, main things that we have in our resume first uh, you can see this thing i have sh said multiple times that the this certificates uh, batches that you have whatever certificate you do make sure to add, add it on your uh, like upper side on your resume okay scrolling down we have three lines of very short introduction about the profile summary what exactly we have uh, like basic skill set main skill sets okay second line he has mentioned very clearly about the certification because you know uh, see certifications it's not key they put very uh, like big impact on your resume but if you are going for some cloud related roles at least have one to two certification on that specific cloud domain that is really helpful talking about technical skills so very in short way itself he has mentioned first cloud technology as, as i say this was purely cloud based roles on azure devops that's why he has mentioned clearly first cloud technologies then azure inside azure he has mentioned the main uh, main resources services that he has actually worked on in other section aws 
then we have infrastructure as code you can see clearly why it's mentioned second because in jd itself it was mentioned that we are looking for someone to work with terraform as well okay that's why it is mentioned here and terraform is some tool that is very widely used in most companies at this point okay after that we have version control the source code management azure repos git and github so coming to next section we have uh, continuous integration and continuous de uh, delivery ci cd so here you can mention he has clearly mentioned just three kind of tools azure pipelines which is purely on cloud then we have jenkins and then we have argo cd argo cd why he has mentioned because i have clearly told him that it is one of the tool that is very highly used at this point and it is very uh, it provides very high level of automation and it reduces a lot of manual effort that's the reason that's the main reason that is added here then we have containerization which is here and then we have programming and scripting so lots of people have experience on either shell or python even if you have little bit experience on python make sure to add it because it adds a lot of values in your resume then we have security sections and security he has added sonar cube trivi os zap other than that there are other tools also you can add like vault if you have experience in that then monitoring prometheus grafana plus elk stack okay next we have certification so as i say ki if you are going for specifically cloud based roles make sure to have at least uh, this one where is it this fundamentals even for aws you can have the cloud practitioner or azure az900 because this, these are the fundamental certificates that you should be definitely having okay other than that if you are experienced then you can have like other certificates as well so after certifications we are actually having the work experience where you can mention the company first and see here he has you can clearly see he has not mentioned any kind of projects directly he has mentioned the actual day to day activities or the main task that he used to do first task starting with ci cd process because that is one of the most important part then what specific azure services that he has worked with those things he has mentioned and specific things that he has highlighted also the specific services then resolve complex uh, kubernetes issues because you know uh, if you mention this kind of thing resolve complex uh, kubernetes issues they are definitely going to ask you about any one example of kubernetes issues that you have actually fixed and that is quite helpful because if you have knowledge on that you can uh, very easily impress the interviewer okay then we have develop scalable infrastructure using terraform uh, this was also highlighted because the terraform is quite widely used as i say again uh, it is quite widely used and it is highly recommended to have very good knowledge on that okay then one more thing that i'll tell you uh, one second yeah this one okay i'll explain in a bit basically see you know uh, you can see here development non production production environment so when you mention the different like different environment that you have worked on uh, on different environment it gives interviewer the impression that you have very good knowledge on handling multiple environment and working with them so make sure to whatever you are adding make sure to showcase that you have deployed application on multiple environments okay and this was the second company so here he has he has added the whatever different task that he has worked on okay here you can see a uh, different environment mentioned that let full cycle a uh, full cycle application deployment this will uh, this will help interviewer understand that you have good knowledge okay then develop cloud based architecture with azure app services again uh, different app services or different specific azure services that he has worked on he has mentioned clearly then monitor infrastructure health okay so as i say ki monitoring is also quite important because you know uh, uh, it does not matter uh, what exactly with what what kind of projects you are working on what kind of tool you are using eventually you have to monitor them one way or the other so make sure to mention that you have monitored also in case you, uh, interviewer asks like what kind of monitoring you have done you can clearly mention i have monitored kubernetes worker node i have monitored application deployed inside kubernetes those things you can mention okay and this part mentored and onboarded 10 plus new team members so basically he has mentioned that he has guided or trained uh, new team members this will help interviewer interviewer understand that you have good knowledge and you have trained like you you know how to work with uh, team members and you know how to manage team members okay then education in very short we are not going with too much detail here then awards and recognition whatever awards you are having whatever things you have uh, worked on you can mention that and then language is very simple so one thing you'll be able to understand very clearly about this resume it's quite simple but elegant because you know a, these kind of res resume is quite useful when it comes to like uh, sorry one second let me go full screen yeah 
so this kind of resume is quite quite helpful because you know interviewer one he once he sees your resume he can clearly see what kind of things you have actually worked on okay so simple resumes help a lot to understand and help they help a lot to like gain opportunities for interviews in devops domain okay so yeah this is all about the video and uh, don't worry i'll be sharing you this uh, uh, jd also so that uh, if you want you can just go through it and understand what kind of like questions they are asked or what kind of specific topics they are covering okay so yeah thanks for watching and have a nice day and make sure to check out the link in the description for the upcoming course